Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today's uh, scripture verse is coming from Matthew, the sixth chapter, and I'll begin reading at verse 24 and conclude at verse 34, as this is a second in the series of looking at putting God first. And today we're going to talk about uh, money, or man, money, or Christ, by beginning at this, you're talking about the anxieties and our king, God's kingdom. Where do, again, where do we put our priorities? Let's begin at verse 24. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, that's money. Therefore, I say unto you, take no thought of your life, of what shall you eat, or what shall you drink, nor yet for your body, which ye shall put on. It is not the life, more, is not life more than meat, and the body more than raiment. Behold the fowls of the air, but they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barn, yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you is taken thought and can add one cubic unto his stature? And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the litters of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall he not much more clothe ye? O ye of little faith, therefore take no thought, saying, What shall I eat, or what shall I drink, or whether shall we be clothed? After all of these things do the Gentiles seek, for your heavenly Father knoweth that you have need of all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Take therefore no thought for tomorrow, for tomorrow shall take thought of these things in itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, the word of God, for the people of God. I say again, this is the second in the series of talking about uh, getting our priorities in order. And it appears as though man has put God on the back burner, or even taking him out completely out of his life. And he's so focused on earthly possessions that he is um, going to any length and by any means necessary to gain wealth. And our scripture, our very first scripture, 24, talks about that a male man can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to one and despise the other. Then he repeats it. You cannot serve God and mammon. He said, you can mammon in this is money now, or, or our worldly possession. And he goes on to really solidify his points when he asks those thought-provoking questions. And he said, why you take thought for your life? And what should, what should I eat? What should I wear? What should I drink? Then he tells them, well, now listen, even the lilies of the field, they are ray in all of their beauty. And they wasn't scrambling, trying to, and worrying about what they're going to eat and what they're going to wear. God, the Heavenly Father, who created the lilies of the field and the birds of the air, just as he created you and I. And if he takes care of them, are we any less than they are? that he would provide all of our needs. And in verse 33, he says, he, he gave a very strong warning and advice. He said, but seek ye first, that's first, 
the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. But we can't do anything unless it's God's will. And we're trying to work out, many are trying to work outside of the will of God and gaining material wealth and will lose his soul. Which is more important, your soul or material wealth? Because that's temple, whereas eternal life is everlasting. And my prayer is that this, these devotionals is helpful and enlightening. So have a blessed day. Remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and help us to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And then go over to theshepherdministers.org and become a subscriber from our, on our website and you receive daily updates, inspirational messages, and just become a part of our community. Have a blessed day. God loves you, and so do I.